Now that we have defined the Cartesian product of two sets, we can start talking about vector spaces. So a vector space is a set. This set is handled by um, two algebraic structures. The first one will give the structure of group to the set and the second supplementary structure will give the structure of vector space. Therefore, a vector space is in particular a group with some supplementary uh, algebraic, um, algebraic structure. So let's call V a set, V B a set. Suppose there is a function with domain V times V two v and let's call this function plus therefore the function plus will be sending two elements a pair of elements in v v1 v2 in and then an element in v which will denote by v1 plus v2 Furthermore, assume that plus the function plus satisfies the following properties so property number one is called associativity and relates the triple sum of three vectors and in the following way if it, I take the sum of v1 plus the element that I, ca I get summing up v2 with v3 so we have a triple sum this triple sum will be equal to the element v1 summed with v2 and this this particular element will be summed with v3 okay so the quality of of these two elements of v for for each v1 v2 v3 in big v is called associativity of plus of the function plus property number two is the following there exists an element which we'll call zero in v with the following property if i sum zero on the left to any element uh, small v this sum will be equal to v sum with zero on the right and both these elements in v will be equal to small v okay so summing any element by zero this this vector that we call zero so summing any vec any v 
by 0, we leave v unchanged. Okay, so 0 is called the identity element. Now let's assume that also property 3 holds. Property 3 is the following. For every element V, there exists another element which will change according to V. So unlike the previous property that assumes the existence of a unique element in a uh, in the set V, which has this property relate this property holding for every other element in big V. In this case, we are assuming that for each element of big V, there exists another element which will depend by the small the element small V that we choose. So this this new element We'll have in the notation v because it will depend on, it will be dependent on v. Therefore, we denote this element by negative v. You see, there is the notation of v inside it, which means that it will depend by v. So, changing v also negative v will change. So, what property does this negative v have? So exists negative v such that if we sum v with negative v on the right or on the left, we will obtain the identity element 0 of the property number 2. Okay. Then there is a, an extra property which we will call for, which is the following. So if we sum v1 with v2, this will always be the same as summing v2 with, with, with v1. Therefore, it doesn't matter the order in which I'm summing two elements, the result will always be the same. So, well, okay, the element negative v, v is called, so negative V is the opposite oppo the opposite of V and this property is called commutativity. Okay, now we have talked about structure of group before. So properties one, two, and three. give V a structure of additive group group so additive just because we denoted the operation the the function by plus. Sometimes uh, functions are denoted by uh, a multiplication symbol which can be a dot. So in that case the group is called multiplicative. Now if we also add the property so besides 1, 2 and 3 we also had property number 4 then 
this give v structure of commutative or abelian is the same commutative and abelian are synonymous abelian group <coughs> 